Welcome to ADI TV. Hi, in this tutorial I'll be talking about the blob brush tool, which is this one over here, and I'll also be talking about the eraser tool. Now, there are several different tools in the eraser tool, so I'm just going to drag those out and tear off the tear off strip, and we'll be going through those in a second. But first, the blob brush. So this brush is really quite a cool thing. Rather than being a brush which is based on a path, this actually creates a fill and it puts the path on the outside rather than on the inside. And in addition to that, you can keep on adding. So just like I'm doing now, if I want to fill in something, it will actually fill in that area. But instead of making that separate, separate um, uh, shape, it actually joins it up. Um, so this is one continuous thing. So if I wanted to change the color to green, oh, um, I could do, if I make sure that's on top first, I can actually change the color or whatever. And I can keep on adding. Um, maybe I want to fill in this section here. It's really quite quite a nitty, natty little, um, that natty little tool. Obviously there again, if I double click on that tool, I can change the smoothness. Let's go really smooth. And I can change the size of the brush. Okay. And the smooth obviously uh, helps. It's going to help you out if you haven't got a pen and tablet and you haven't got a particularly steady hand, like, like I'm demonstrating here. But yeah, a really, really kind of cool brush. Okay, so next up, oh, we'll get move on to the eraser tool. So the eraser tool kind of works in a similar way, really. It basically just enables you to delete and erase from, a minute, from an image like so. Um, let's get rid of that bit. So rather than deleting or, or removing um, an anchor point, it actually allows you to to just paint out what you don't need. Um, there again you can change the uh, the roundness, the size, and it doesn't matter if you cross over other paths, it kind of works it out. So now I've got like three different shapes, four different shapes, sorry. One, two, three, four, and I can make them different colors, and so on and so forth. Let's make this one a light blue. So the eraser tool, pretty cool little tool, really, really useful. So I want to demonstrate the next one, which is the scissor tool, and then move on to the knife. So what I'm going to do with the scissor tool first, so I'm just going to delete this, and then create myself um, just a, a blocks, and I'm going to just click on that and hold Alt and Shift and drag down to create two of these. I'm also going to pull out some guides. So I'm going to turn my rulers on, but it's Apple R, and I'm going to pull out a couple of guides to where I think I need them. Okay, like so. Now, I'm going to make sure that those, both those items are selected. I'm going to go to my scissor tool, and I'm going to align my, my uh, crosshair up with that ruler or guide that I pulled out. Do the same there. And what the scissor tool is basically doing is making an incision along the path. So if I now just select that. So in all sense and purposes, nothing's changed. But if I select that item, you can see that this bit here is not actually a closed shape. This is actually a bit that's missing. But because it's got a fill, you're, you're not really seeing that. We could probably better demonstrate that if I applied a stroke to the outside. So if I apply a black stroke, and let's go up a couple of points. Um, let's do the same with this one. You can see that actually the line actually stops in that middle section. So what I can do with the uh, com direct selection tool is actually select those two, that point and that point here, and I can press Apple J, and that will join those two. And if I do the same, oh, if I do the same with these two points, Apple J. So then I can, you know, I've got a I'm starting to build up a shape from different objects. And being able to join things and cut them is key to working in Illustrator. Okay, so that demonstrates the um, the scissor tool. So it allows you to cut an incision along a path. Now the knife tool works in a slightly different way. Um, let's just get rid of this and create another box. I can get rid of my guides. Okay, so the knife tool allows you to cut through an object. So at the moment it looks like I've just put a black line but if I actually pick up one of these objects, oh, wrong. if I go to the selection tool rather than direct selection, it allows me to um, 
individually move the two halves. So basically what it's done is because my object um, actually had a stroke, when I cut through, the stroke then became, it became two separate items and it got stroked to either side to make the complete items. So there again, if I cut it in the middle there and there again, it's going to make four, four objects. Oh, one, two, three, four. So a really kind of, you know, a different way of cutting um, an object into different pieces. Rather than cutting the actual individual path, this actually puts a line or separates the two, um, the object into two halves, basically. Uh, and it's, in this case, quarters. Okay, so hopefully that's given a demonstration of how those work. Fairly useful tools. The School of Arts and Digital Industries at the University of East London.